What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Strider, and oh my god, I, it, it might be over for Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm telling you right now. And I'm not being facetious, I'm not joking around. I'm very serious about this. So I want to preempt this by telling you guys that if you have not joined my Discord, definitely join it. We have a great group of people, there's a lot of differing opinions. You know sometimes for sometimes against uh, assassin's creed shadows and not just that but other things that are going on in the world or in the world of gaming so it's a great group of guys and gals and uh i'm gonna tell you right now uh <laughs> some of the information that is brought to me is these guys are like cia so <laughs> this bit of information was brought to me by crazy i mentioned him before he's the guy that gave me the information about the second disc track and uh listen this is getting good so i also want to start off by saying like i've told you guys that i do not believe that a petition is enough to move the needle in canceling assassin's creed shadows okay right now that petition has over eighty-one thousand signatures at time of this recording 81,000 signatures, which is wild. Now, I know that some people are saying that, you know, like it's a bunch of like, uh, uh, you know, people from the United States that are like posting up on that thing. Uh, we have seen pictures of people who are the top commenters and they are posting on that, uh, you know, claiming to be living over there or partially Japanese or what have you. And it, that really doesn't matter. It's still, it's at 81,000 uh, signatures. Again, that's, that's less than like 0.02% of Tokyo. Okay? Still, still not a significant amount of people. However, this method that I'm going to talk to you about now, this is significant. This is wild as heck right now. So... This actually caught the attention of Japanese politician Satoshi Hamada. And I will put a link in this description below so that you could pick this up. And if you have uh, Twitter slash X, even better. Because he actually goes on and he asks for some opinions. So he recently said that he might bring up Ubisoft and assassin's creed shadows before the japanese diet which is pretty much like uh you know like our version of like congress or parliament they have that so <laughs> he's uh claiming that ubisoft is altering the country's history architecture and more as well as potentially using ai to generate images of the time period the game is supposed to be set so he doesn't even think that they did any work. They had any consultation besides Sweet Baby Inc. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. So uh, he says that they've received a uh, consultation regarding the alteration of a Japanese history by a French game company. And, uh, you know, he put up a bunch of images and stuff like that. And he wants opinions. He say, he's saying that he wants anyone's opinion on what was altered, what was changed, what uh, Ubisoft is not paying attention to, how insensitive they're being on certain subjects, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I mean, it's getting good. So now he, he just starts immediately. He's like, I don't care about, uh, you know, <laughs> black people are not main characters. I don't really care. He said non-Japanese people are, are burning that on their own. Like they're, you know, I mean, over here, we're complaining more about the black character than the Japanese are, you know. They're more concerned, apparently, with uh, a lot of other mistakes and things that are messed up that they seem to care a lot, uh, a lot more than, than I would about. Um, they're talking about, you know, like... Uh, messed up seasons buildings mannerisms uh you know the things like that you know they're they're not trying to be racist but they're saying that a lot of their culture is being either misrepresented or misinterpreted and 
you know, I guess I could see, you know, like the culture, like I said in a previous video, um, you know, culture, religion, like those are things that you really don't want to touch that you could really mess up and insult people. So, um, you know, they, they're kind of upset with that. Plus, he, he cites the 81,000 signatures that, uh, <laughs> that, that <laughs> has been signed in that petition. So, it's pretty wild. Now, Ubisoft Japan issued an apology for, uh, you know, like several things that were going on. And, you know, it, it's just, it's completely messed up. They're even using Chinese uh, characters uh, in some of the things that they write and whatnot. So you see some signs and they're in Chinese rather than Japanese. So, you know, what did you do? Did you even use anybody you, that that knew anything about Japanese culture? Or did you just follow Sweet Baby Ink and everything that they told you? Now, Sweet Baby Ink is not an escape for them. It absolutely is not. You chose to take these people on. You could have said no like Wukong. You could have said no like Stellar Blade. What are you doing? See, Sweet Baby Ink is a massive problem. A massive problem. And the thing is that they chose to follow it. And they chose not to, like, just double check their stuff. You're doing something like this. You got to dot your I's and cross your T's. You can't just come out and make something and think nobody's going to be offended. So see, now while we're all complaining about a black samurai, in reality, they have been pointing out what the real problem is. And you know what? A lot of that stuff is a problem. I mean, seasons and structures like that, like they, that really wouldn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? I played Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and... um. I'm from New York. I, you know, some of those buildings are incorrect. And I didn't care. I really didn't. Some of the city's layout is, is not correct. It wasn't enough for me to, you know, get angry and be like, well, what the hell is this nonsense? You know, I, I really didn't care. It, it didn't bother me. It was a game. I'm playing. I'm Spider-Man. I'm flying through the air, you know? Uh, you know, the same thing with the seasons, like they don't have that much snow in New York City. That might be an upstate thing, like, you know, maybe around Buffalo where Keemstar is from or something like that. We don't get that much snow like that. <laughs> but like, again, not enough for, to bother me. I, I don't think any New Yorker was really bothered by that. But I can't discount the feelings of an entire country. I cannot. You know, and I will not. And I think it's silly for us to say that they're silly for these kind of uh, things that they're upset about. You know, if it upsets them as a country, it upsets them. It, you, what can we do? Now, the real question is, what can be done? Can they bring Ubisoft before their uh, version of Parliament and stuff like that? Can they stop this game from ha coming out? Could they demand an apology? Could they delay the game? What can they do? Can, can, I mean, as far as I know, well, not know, but like as far as I can guess, they could probably uh, ban the sales of the game in their country. Uh, you know, maybe even kick out uh, <laughs> Ubisoft Japan. Like, you know, we no longer do business with Ubisoft, you know? I, I don't know at this point. I really don't. What I do know is that this is how you move the needle. I don't think that the petition was kind of damaging enough to get in front of this guy. I think it had to be something like, you know, maybe he knew somebody, maybe a, a group of friends or like, you know, his kids came to him and said, hey, this game is coming out and this is, this is bonked, bro. This ain't it. You know, and then he went and, you know, he reacted and stuff like that. He looked into it and he was like, wait, what? You know, <laughs> that may be what happened. I don't know. I don't know. But like, as I get more details, I definitely will like let you guys know what's going on. I, I turn it to you guys. What do you think? Do you think that it's over for Assassin's Creed Shadows? Do you think it'll be delayed? What do you think is the worst that will come out of here? 
What do you think is the, the, the best case scenario? What do you think should be done? And does this bother you? Any of these things listed, you know, whether or not you're Japanese. I know a lot of Japanese people had, you know, come and, and you know, spoken to me about this and whatnot. And, uh, you know, they kind of, you know, they, they're kind of winning me over with this argument because they're not coming with uh, Black Samurai bad. They're coming with, you know, <laughs> not getting it right bad, you know, and they have a list of what's not right. So you guys, you let me know. What do you think? What are your thoughts? How do we fix this? Can it be fixed? Should it release anyway? Does anybody care? Does nobody care? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, definitely, definitely join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all on the next one.